Good afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, Northampton License Commission um, meeting for April 3rd, 2019. Uh, commissioners, the President Brian Campadelli, Natasha Yagolev, and Helen Kahn are absent. We are um, audio videoing at this point. So um, at this time, we can take public comment. Is there anybody with public comment? Okay, seeing none. Move on to item three. Application for short-term liquor license, Northampton Senior Services. Date and time, Friday, April 12, 2019. Pardon. Are you here for public comment? No, no, no. Oh, for uh, Northampton. Yeah. All right, so we're doing Northampton uh, Senior Services. For date and time, Friday, April 12, 2019, 5 to 8 p.m. Locations in Northampton Senior Center, 67 Con Street. The event is Arts Night Out, Wine and Malt, and request a fee waiver. Can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, my name is Marie Westberg. Hi, Marie. Thank you for coming. Uh, can you tell us uh, about your event? Sure. Um, so we become a venue for Arts Night Out, and we received a grant from the Cultural Arts, or the Cultural Arts Council. Um, and so this would be our first event where we would be serving alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, the Art Salon, which will have four different artists, will be holding an event, and they have a big following. So okay. there'll be a lot of people there. Do you know how your setup is uh, going to be so you can monitor your alcohol? Yes, we are going to have um, food and beverage in the lobby so that the artist who's displaying in the hallway and the artists that are just having a, an event in the great room, that everything will con you know, convene in terms of drinking and eating in one place. Fantastic. And we will have a, a licensed server. Yep, the tip certified says so that. Uh, great. Um, I don't have any further questions. Do you have any? Nope. If people are still aware for the first time. Okay. Would you like to make a motion? I would. I would make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Northampton Senior Services on Friday, April 12, 2019, from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Senior Center at 67 Con Street for Arts Night Out. And I move to approve the request for fee waiver. Um, second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Number four, application for in holder license with Pomeroy Inn, 83 Pomeroy Terrace, Northampton. Uh, Deborah Henson. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. So, is this Pomeroy Inn new, or is it something that's been in existence? Because I'm not familiar with it. It is new. Okay. Since about, well, I moved here and I did the, um, just made two rooms have their private bathrooms, mm -hmm. and um, received a special permit from the city to operate as a bed and breakfast. Okay. The house itself isn't new, it's 150 years old, but <laughs> the, the iteration as a bed and breakfast is new. to approve the application for in-holder license for the Pomeroy Inn at 83 Pomeroy Terrace in Northampton. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Deborah. Item number five, application for common VIP license, uh, the Cannabis Co-op LC, um, Ryan Yoga. She's actually from the application, so okay. um, her original plan was to provide coffee, tea, and pastries and sandwiches, and she took the her help. And in order to have coffee, she needs grease traps, and that, that location, she can't have those uh -huh. So she is, will not, she would just be acting as a yoga studio. So no need for her coming there. All right, great. What's up? We're just giving it to the store. So you'll not, we'll contract her that. Oh, right. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thanks. 
Item number six, application for short-term liquor license. Trustees for Forbes, li Forbes Library, the DBA Forbes Library. Date and times, April 6, 2019, 2 to 4.30 p.m. Location is 20 West Street. The uh, Osmer Gallery reception, <coughs> Neil A. Krause and uh, Abraham. Wine and malt, request fee waiver, all in. Hi. Hi. State your name for the record, please. Faith Kaufman. Nice to see the you The new again. form doesn't have enough room to write out all the artist's names and what type of art it is. Yeah, that's fine. That's the same as uh, always, I presume. Yes. Okay. No changes. No. I'm okay. good. I'll make a motion. Great. I make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for trustees of the Forbes Library, DBA Forbes Library, on April 6, 2019, from 2 to 4.30 at 20 West Street in the Hosmer Gallery for an artist reception. And I move to approve the request for fee waiver. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Faith. Number seven, applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music, DBA Academy of Music Theater, 274 Main Street, Wine and Malt, request we fit, uh, fee waiver. <laughs> Date and time, Thursday, April 11, 2019, 7 to 11, uh, Blue Oyster Cult Concert. Um, Saturday, April 20th, 2019. So we get all the news. Yeah. <laughs> um, 7 to 11 p.m. Jethro Tulls, guitarist. Um, date and time is Saturday, May 4th, 2019. 7 to 11 is Andrea Gibson. Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. 7 to 11, Joe Jackson. And Thursday, May 16th, 2019. 7 to 11, Citizens Co Concert. And Friday, May 17th, 2019, 7 to 11, Shaky Graves concert. And finally, June 23rd, 2019, uh, 7 to 11, the Milk Garden Kid concert. So tips and charts are in. Please you state your name for the record, please. Amanda Spear Purchase. Hi, right, thank you. Um, same as always. As always. As always. Nothing's changed. I don't have any questions. I have no questions. I will make a motion to approve the applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music as outlined in item 7 on the agenda. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and we're going to actually um, I'll do a motion to uh, grant the fee waiver as well. Yes, I will make a motion to approve the fee waiver. Second. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Number eight, application for Common Vic license. Um, ME Paths Franchise Investment Partners, Inc. DBA, Hothead Burrito, 55 Damon Road, Northampton. Proposed manager is Greg Yon. Close. Yvonne. 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 Okay. And, um, so you've got some paperwork that still, or did you, do you have it? you have a copy of the lease with you or no? Uh, no, I okay. did not. All right, so we're going to need that um, eventually. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. I wasn't aware I needed that. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Um, it's a QSR burrito concept. Chipotle's on steroids, if you will. So it's a franchise out of the Midwest. It would be the second one I built. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. You know. All right. Where is your other the other location you have? Uh, I have another one in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, uh, just outside the airport. Uh, you know, I've been in restaurants 35 years. Mm -hmm. That's all I've ever done. I own five subways. Mm -hmm. So, great. Okay. All of the big work except for that one. Okay. So, so yeah, I will make a motion to approve the application for the common eviction license for item number eight as outlined on the agenda, contingent upon receiving 
the fully executed lease. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So you can get us the lease or get the annual lease as soon yep. as you can? Yep, we'll get it too. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, just a quick question. Is there any ability for a beer and wine license? In general, like on the regular, no. Okay. You don't have that? There's none left? For for just, full for full license? No, no, just beer and wine. We, we, Experiment with the concept, the cantina style concept. So it would be like beers, bottled beers, etc. Uh, maybe margarita, but nothing too, you know. I don't want to be a bar. Yeah, so a margarita would require full liquor license. Would it? Yeah. Okay. So, if it were bottled, like individual. Oh, I yeah. suppose if you did pre-bottled ones, I don't know. Yeah. If it's got vodka, then it would have to. Otherwise, it's wine and malt. Okay. Right. So, so it, it, is there wine and malt? Or milk? There's no annuals. There's seasonals, but um, once you you can apply for a seasonal, and after six months of good operation, you can apply to convert it to an annual. So five thousand dollar conversion fee um, okay. paid a thousand dollars monthly or yearly for the first five years until okay. your renewal fee. So basically, a probation like six month kind of thing, and if yeah. it if it works out, then you can be granted a full one. You can apply to convert it. Yes. All right. Now, for if I want, if I was to try to do something with a margarita-based thing, would that that would require a full liquor license? I mean, unless there's something that would qualify under for the ABCC that's bottled or pre-bottled, I'm not quite sure on that. Okay. I really can look across that. Yeah. All right. And I presume they are not available. There are not available from the city. There's one right now available on the open market. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. Number nine, application for short-term liquor licenses for the Northampton Chamber of Commerce. Hello. Hello. Um, so date and time, Wednesday, May 1st, 2019, 5 to 7, 100 Emerson Way. If you arrive at 5 for wine and malt. Um, Thursday, June 13th, 2019, 6 to 10. Academy of Music, 274 Main Street, 100th Anniversary Program, All Alcohol. Wednesday, July 10th, 2019, 5 to 7 p.m., Miss Florence Diner, 99 Main Street, Florence, arrive at 5, All Alcohol. Wednesday, September 11th, 2019, 5 to 7, Northampton Survival Center, 265 Prospect Street, arrive at 5, Wine and Malt. Uh, Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019, 5 to 8, Chamber of Commerce, 99 Pleasant Street, Open House, Wine and Malt. Wednesday, November 6th, 2019, 5 to 7, The Lumberyard, 256 Pleasant Street, Arrive at 5, Wine and Malt. Can you state your name for the record, please? Lucy Abbott. Hi, Lucy, thanks for coming. Um, these are all the same as usual? Yeah, there's a couple of uh, sort of specialty events in with the Arrive at Fives, which are all as usual, um, where we're working with different hosts, so we're not privy to all the information right up front, so I've, um, in the past I've been able to provide those before, um, you know, actually picking up the license with Annie. For the special programs, um, June 13th at the Academy, for example, um, and then the Wednesday, July 10th, the two al all alcoholic. Um, the 100th is a big event that we are just getting underway for planning and we're hustling to getting um, our vendors together. So that information will be available sooner. Um, and then Miss Lawrence, she really wanted to do a specialty drink that night. So it's kind of a special arrive at five in sure. Lawrence. So we can just go ahead and put those through contingent time. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know. You want to make a motion? Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce for the events as outlined on the agenda in item number nine, contingent upon additional paperwork for the two events on June 13th and July 10th. Okay. I will second all well, in favor. Uh, I want to make sure it's yeah. accurate. So it's missing for all of them, the tips and the distributors. Oh, okay. Uh, so that okay. will come uh, for each one. Okay, thank you. So contingent on tips paperwork for all events. Great. So I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you Appreciate it. See you. And we hope you come to the event on the 13th. Oh, if anyone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Save the dates coming out soon. There's one tonight, is there not? 
Yes, at Danko Modern. And just a quick plug, if you bring your business card and come to Danko tonight, you can enter to win one of their $3,000 dressless recliners. So just FYI, if you want to have some, some drinks and food tonight at Danko, join us. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a number 10 application for short-term liquor licenses. Frank Bull Look Park, Memorial Park, DBA Look Park. Type would be wine and malt. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So your date, um, Thursday, May 16, 2019, 5 to 8 for the train station cocktail party. Sunday, June 9, 2019 for the ball field, the bounce house, Bonanza. Saturday, July 27, 2019, 12 to 5 p.m., ball field for Vendor Fair. Saturday, August 24, 2019, 12 to 6 for the ball field of Food Truck Festival. Um, September 7, 2019, to be determined with Ball Field International Street Fair. And Saturday, September 28, 2019, 1 to 5 at Ball Field for the Brew Festival. Can you state your name for the record, please? Eric Hamley. Thank you for coming. No problem. Thanks for having me. So you're going to have more than one vendor as far as um, uh, for the uh, brew festival, right? Yep. The brew festival is in its fourth annual year. It's usually done in our Pine Theaters, which has a seasonal license. Um, but we're moving into the ball field um, to allow for more vendors and easier tenting because of the piping underneath the pines. Um, so it should be about 20 to 30 vendors that uh, will be fenced off so under one big tent. Do you know how many of those vendors will be beer vendors? All of them will be all beer. Will be it's all beer cider. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have food trucks along the outside. So that one license, if I grant it four meters and four lines, it would cover all the vendors. They should come and buy separately. It would cover part, but it seems that they're not the vendors. When we've done, yeah, yeah. I, when we've done stuff at the park before, where somebody's pouring, pour comes against the license. Right. Yeah. So, so do you have changed. a list? Do you have a list of the pours that are actually going to be at each event? I will. Okay. I think what's going to have to happen is they're going to come individually and get a license okay. for the, the events that you need to, okay. to do. So That's uh, how we've done it in the past, like for Cycle Cross, whoever's pouring the beer, okay. that person, the beer pour comes um, and okay. gets a license for themselves. It's just it is, I think it's a... It's a safer way to do it, especially considering you're having so many vendors right. you're in the open spaces here as opposed to closed off in the pines. Okay. Center. So it might make more sense for us to just move back to the pines and then we're covered under our lakes of the pines. Well, because you have different vendors actually pouring, like you're covered. What park is right? Right, right, yeah, right. But, in, but I don't think in the past they've come to get their licenses. Yeah, from you. I don't think they can pour on your premise you have a what the pines a licensed premise and i don't interesting think i mean that may have been past practice or it's just okay. slipped through accidentally. right okay right. Know, past so. practice as in we didn't know about it right but i think it's a great idea to have it on the ball field right it would be great yeah but i think for for the purposes right. of everybody being protected it makes sense for for look park to have their right coverage and then individual vendors okay let me ask you this you may have to rethink the paperwork event. and have one representative come for each vendor that's going to be there and the grant as long as they have all their paperwork in so that they don't individually have to be heard and mm -hmm. like under the, the park not under, not under oh, yeah, not I'm not, I'm not worried about park, it but you know if she Me wanted either. to come to represent <laughs> Right. And they turned in all their paperwork, but... And then, but that way you wouldn't be able to do that, Dad. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the ones where we've done the one, like for Cycle Cross, it's a known brewer. It's a local known brewer who we know, or who, in most cases, has come before us. They've already got a foreign license. Um, yes, they've already got the... Right, so... 
Oh, we don't know who whatever that rumor was, but don't they have those most people have their own licenses, but Wait, but they can't operate that part of the park under the their own license. So right, they get the that daily. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, so are, are there events, there's events listed here that you, that Look Park only is going to be pouring for? Correct. So all of the other ones will be us. So the only one that it's not is, what is it called again? The Brew Festival. festival. Yeah, the, the only one that's festival. not would be Brew Festival. Okay, so one at the bottom here. All right, so I think what we can do is go ahead and we'll go ahead and, and um, push through the ones that you're going to be pouring, that okay. Luke Parker will be responsible for, and then we'll just have to have each one of these vendors come back okay. that are going to pour and, and get individual licenses. And since just a quick question on the ones that are, are on the ball field, so there's new, there, you're not new to events, but there's new events happening on the ball Correct. field. So the area where um, beer and wine would be served would be cordoned off in some way. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, we have separate tents coming for the bars, and then we'll also have orange fencing around. We'll do the wristbands like we usually okay. do. So. Perfect. That sounds great. Do you want to make a motion? For I that? do. I'll make a motion to approve the applications for short-term liquor license licenses for Look Memorial Park <coughs> for all items as outlined on the agenda item number 10 with the exception of the final item on September 28th, the Brew Festival, which will just require a little bit more thinking through. All right. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Thank uh -huh. you. We have plenty of time. So yes, we, there's lots of time. All right. Thank you. Get done. Uh, number 11, application for change of DBA on annual inholder, all alcohol license, common grip license, and inholder license. Ellery Server, LLC, DBA, Autumn Inn, 259 Elm Street. Proposed new DBA, the Ellery. Um, oh, hi. Hi. Can you state your name for the record? Hope Kalish. Say that again? Hope Kalish. Hi, Hope. Thank you for uh, coming. So, so we got all the required documentation, so nothing else really. Yeah, it's really just the name change. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and it's going to be called the Ellery? Yes. Oh, um, yeah, we're off. We put up our sign this weekend. We are escaped to finish renovations. That'll be end of April internally and exterior uh, maybe mid June. Okay. Lots of changes to the autumn. Yeah. That's exciting. We love it. It is that. exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. Okay. I have no questions. I will approve the application for the change or make a motion to approve the application for change of DBA on annual inholder all alcohol license, common victory license, and inholder license for uh, the autumn end to the proposed new DBA, the Ellery. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Item 12 public hearing on application for transfer of annual wine and malt package store <coughs> license. I'm Michelle Hamden, Inc., DBA Racing Mart, 54 East Hampton Road, North Hampton. Previous holder is Z & Cube, Inc. And proposed manager is Patel. Yeah. They are not coming. Um, this letter was sent. We got this today. It was actually addressed to you. <coughs> Change of LLC manager, change of ownership interest, and change of manager. Oxbow Wines LLC DBA provisions, 30 Crafts Avenue, Northampton. Previous manager is Alexander Feinstein. Proposed manager Andrew Bruce McCandless. Okay, we will write with you one second. Can you 
you both state your names for the record, please? Alexander Feinstein. Uh, <clears throat> Andrew Bruce McCamus. Thanks for coming. Um, Thanks for having us. Yeah. At this time, I'm going to make a motion to open up a public hearing. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any public comment on this? Okay, seeing none, make a motion to close the public hearing. Um, second. All in favor, aye. aye. Great. Um, so, can you tell us about you both of you are going to be owning this, or no? Um, I'm selling my share. Okay, so I would be a 50% uh, owner with the other current, the remaining current partner, uh, uh, Benson Hyde. Okay. So. For the ABCC, there, there can be no cross ownership though between a package store owner and a wholesaler. I understand. I understand. I'm just um, uh, awaiting final action from the from the commission on um, uh, the company that's buying my wholesale company's assets. Is just awaiting final action on their wholesaler license, um, which I believe it, it should be forthcoming pretty quickly. Um, I'm not aware of any problem, but there clearly has been a delay up there uh, at, in Boston. So, but I, once that uh, that license gets approved, then I would, you know, sur however exactly we term it, I would surrender the wholesale license and, and wind up uh, my current, the company that holds that license. Yeah, so I don't know if this board can actually finalize that until that action happens. Are you still doing business as a wholesaler? Well, uh, I'm, I'm uh, supervising uh, ongoing operations until uh -huh. that until that final everything gets right. gets tied up and and uh, you know is approved in Boston. Right. I just I guess I thought that maybe if the local you know if right. you could approve it maybe that would kind of help shake things Move loose things at the commission uh, Have because. You had any communication from the ABCC on this? Um, I just verified if there if between the ownership. Right. And that was the information I received. Right. If I may, my name is Susan Cooper. Um, the sale and purchase of the interest and provisions is not going to happen until the until the wholesale license can be um, given up. Google, so it's a condition precedent precedent in the application in the agreement. So they he will not have both licenses simultaneously. Right. So as long as our okay. motion includes that. Yeah. What's your name again? Susan Cooper. Susan Cooper, are you, are you an attorney? Okay. Yeah, I have no problem with the I'm making a motion to include that includes that language. I mean, if nothing's going to happen until that happens, anyways, this is just a matter of yeah. so approval contingent upon the finalization of everything. Final, you know. Okay. And it's about yeah. three days to get it to the ABCC. Three days to get the application. Once it's been approved. By you. I guess in that case we wouldn't have to wait for the next local, you know, for you for you to, to be in session again to you know once that approval happens right. at the state level then then right. we make a motion to approve now contingent upon everything right. falling into place on ABCC's part, your, yours, uh, you know, whatnot. Right. That's when the approval goes through. You know, so and then you sending does that sound right? Um, it's ready to try. I don't know if the is going to go for the fact that it was approved. Oh, pardon me. Well, I mean, they can shut it down, right? I don't know. So, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. How long have you been in process with the ABCC in trying to get uh, this? Well, you, you, I'm. Um, it's been over a year at this point. Oh. And, and my understanding, I mean, there was a delay 
uh, you know, this was a newly formed company. Uh, there was a delay at the federal level to get a federal basic permit, uh, which, uh, and then, uh, you know, I can't really, I'm not on that side of the, you know, of the equation, so right. I can't speak as to the causes of the delay. Sure, sure. Um, but um, but I, my understanding is it really is, you know, sort of in final stage now, and, um, it, you know, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it doesn't take, you know, much longer. Um, so, so there's no no sale happen, no sale from Alex to Bruce no. happens until? No, it, it doesn't go through, right. because that's a, yeah, that is a condition proceeding. That's a condition for them as well, yeah. for the sale. So, I mean, I am comfortable with it. If the ABCC has an issue with it, then they have an issue add, with it. I would just add that as long as it falls, it falls, all, falls under all mass law and ABCC regulation. Right. You know, in, in accordance with, because I have no idea on that. I don't, I'm not going to pretend to be uh, up on the laws. So, um, as far as an attorney, so I would just add that, you know, if you're going to go ahead and make a motion for mm -hmm. contingency on that, you know, after their sale goes through in accordance with Mass General Law and ABC regulations, that would be So those two items that I'm saying, yeah. if it's not in accordance with them, then it's, you're coming back before us once everything is done. Right. Yeah. So. And you're, you're comfortable with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's, yeah, because there's a fail safe in it for us, so. Okay, do you have anything else to add? Okay, um, so, okay. this is our first time encountering like a. Yeah, no, I understand it's not a run the mill right, it's uh, not. The situation. I guess, I just, so, the application shouldn't go forward until you hear, or you want us to send the application, and hopefully that will suss them. Suss I, I mean, I, I guess I was kind of hoping that that you might. I mean, again, uh, with a, that you might be able to forward the application, <coughs> and hope that maybe that would get them signing the other, the approval on the other one. But but if you're not comfortable with that, I, I understand, and, and we can, I can just notify you when uh, the other situation is resolved and. Um, yeah, and then you could send it to ABCC at that point. It's real, whatever you're most comfortable with, I understand, but this right. is not a, a normal, a typical situation. Yeah. So in that case, we can't send an, an application approved contingent upon if, it, if it, it's not approved yet. So why are we, we can't send approved. this application? Right, so we wouldn't be able to send it in until the contingency is met. So, so, but he's saying that he wants us to send it in. Yeah, we won't be able to because- okay. I understood. Okay. There's, yeah. I mean, if you if you're if in your communications with the ABCC, you let them know you came before the local license commission, yeah. and that you know there's an approval pending this contingency being met. Right. If that helps, but there it just. I understand. Yeah. yeah. I guess if it's been a year, why now? Why why are, did you speak with someone that said that it was going to happen soon? Uh, the uh, you know the uh, the principal of the of the applying party you know for the wholesaler for the new wholesaler license um has has my understanding is is that he's been told that you know that it really is just waiting on fi final commission approval um and that's a company that's been in operation for a long time hasn't it mdc no, uh, no that's new? there's a there's a it, they're new uh, okay. but, but the, I, there's somebody else made something similar oh, okay um but as i said i'm not aware of any any issue that would you know, prevent that license being issued. It's just, right. you know, as we all know, I mean, ABCC is uh, at least sometimes kind of uh, slow or a little bit understaffed or whatever. So, the, I mean, there's two options. We we make a motion to approve this application contingent on these other actions happening. And then we hold that because we can't send a contingent application to the ABCC. Mm -hmm. um, and then we continue to wait as as you're waiting, um, or we table it, and because we because since since we can't make that we can't be of any service and like trying to move things in one way, so we could table it and then just say when you have it, come back to us. And I I mean every so often we do have a special circumstance to have an additional meeting in between meetings. 
but your first option negates that, so they wouldn't have to come back as long as everything else fell in place. True. Then we can send out, and that's what I was getting at earlier. Like you wouldn't send that out, you know, in three days. You would just we would have like we would just be saying that as long as everything else is approved by ABCC and everything happens as it should, then it's approved by this local board. But so just trying to save them time. Not Otherwise, option two is come back when you have all your ducks in a row. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, also, them having, him having a wholesale, being a shareholder in, in I don't know, a wholesaler license isn't, that's not a local licensing authority problem. So. Right. Would you feel more comfortable uh, talking with ABCC about some of this for clarification on our end? Well, I mean, I, I did ask, and they made it clear that they can't hold both. Right. So, yes. And your plan is to let go of the other. Absolutely. Wholesale Absolutely, yeah. So what's holding you up from that? This, the, the, the ABCC's whole, approval. Then, yeah, the so. ABCC approval on, on the, you know, yeah. And the MDC being a new entity is probably what's holding it up on the. It seems odd that it's been a year because they, yeah. they do work slow, but not that slow. I mean, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I, I don't, as I said, because you know they're sort of doing their application process in you know separately. I'm not, you know, I'm not yeah. reviewing it. Right, I, haven't, right. I haven't seen their paperwork, or I don't know if they, you know, may there have been, you know. Might they have slipped up on the application yeah. and you know made a couple of mistakes? I mean, you know, I also know that the you know the online filing system is a little kind of clunky and it's kind of easy to um, you know to misplace documents or whatever. So I can't I can't explain it. I I, I kind of agree with you that it's weird, and I've been mm -hmm. um, pressing the the uh, you know the opposing party in that or not opposing, but the other the other party to you know try to speed things up and. So you know, I am I am sure that this you know should happen fairly soon. But I you know, but if why don't we just uh, I know I'm sorry to say, but why don't we just table it and do it and then call for a special meeting for you? Yeah, we do that all the time. Okay. So if you get to where you um, everything comes into line for us, sure. I have no problem showing up for you. For you so, know, yeah. For no, we just Annie just needs 48 hours to post the agenda publicly. Yeah. But okay. I'll do my best to be present, and Brian will do his best to be present, so we can make it happen. Okay. It just seems there's just that loose end with the uh, MDC. Just seems because you, you, it's completely out of your control. It, it, you have no idea what's yeah. going on in that end, and yeah. it'll just be strung out unnecessarily if there's something on that end that is just yeah okay going to be problematic. Okay, but, I understand. No, I, I understand. Nice to see you both. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on the yeah. funding purchase. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I will, um, I'm gonna make a motion regarding the public hearing on the application for change of LLC manager, change of ownership interest, and change of manager at Oxford Wines, DBA provisions, um, to table this application process until further notice. I second that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, see you guys. 14 application for Cherry Wine License from the Forbes Library, 820 West Street. Hi. Hi, I'm Kate Doherty, a member of the Friends of Forbes. Yep, I'm Kate, how are you? Okay. Is this your usual event? Yep. How one more time? time, one more time. One more time. <laughs> Is this your last time doing the event? No, no. Oh, okay. I, just, you know what? I, I, I don't know how much longer it's going to go, but yeah. it's getting more and more popular. Well, that's great. You know, these things have a shelf life, but it's really great. We're, yeah. we're making good money for yeah. the library. That's wonderful. Yeah, we, I have that's one question, though, for your legal expertise. Last year, of which we have none. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're not lawyers. <laughs> last year, for the first time, some vendors brought order forms to the library oh. and passed them out to the people who were doing the, you know, taking part in the wine tasting. No money changed hands, but the order forms included discounts so that 
if the people filled out the orders and then went to 44, Liquors 44, to pick up the orders, they also got discount. Mm -hmm. Is that okay, even though this is a charity event, or should we not allow them to do that? Nothing takes place at the library, but it does take place afterwards. Right, that's a good question. That's a, that's a good question. I know in the, see the code of mass regulations, there's a few sections that have to deal with discounts. Um, so I can look into that for you and okay. get back to you. Okay. Yeah. That 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 would be good. Yeah. I, I mean, we just want to toe the line. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. and if, they, if it's okay, that's fine with us. It's just that we yeah. don't want to cross it's any a, borders. It's a good question. What is so, the date of the event? Uh, oh, gosh. September 27th? I'm not sure. 27th. Okay. Isn't that, oh, oh. Isn't that awful? It's in September. Okay. And they, they keep changing their idea for it, but it's on a Friday night toward the end of the month. Okay. It's a great yep. event. It's on the 27th. 27th. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I have no other questions. Do you? I, I have not. So I give you the form for you to mail in. The I'm pretty sure I have everything, but she just she just gave it to me the other day. Let me see. I have this, and I have solicitation. Just make sure all the eyes are. Your, um, do you have an email that I can email you that? Yeah, I do you have Serena Smith's? I do. That would be the best okay. part. I'll she's send she's her the one who really wanted to know. I didn't know I was in the kitchen doing all the work. Okay, so she, it's the vendors of? The vendors have um, discount order forms. They bring with them to the wine tasting and they hand out these forms to the people who are at the wine tasting in case they're interested. No money to um, change his hands at the library, but when they go, <coughs> bless you. Bless you. Liquors 44, and then they get their discount. So the vendors of the wine? Yeah, um, there are different they vendors. They donate. The wine's donated? Yes, yes. it's yeah, a separate. This is for future sales. Yeah, but <coughs> the wine at the, at the library that night is, is donated, donated for our event. Yeah. Yeah. But the vendors want to project it out and make money from the people who are there at the event. Okay. So they allow them to order at a discount. Okay. And but yeah. nothing happens at that they don't bring the wine with right, them. Right, right, right. They okay. just bring yes, the wine that you're tasting. Gotcha. Okay. It's okay. A, it's a complicated Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll definitely look into it for you. Okay. And Betsy Barrow says hi. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I went out to lunch with her today and I said I was coming. And I, I didn't know that you were even on the board. Oh. <laughs> well. She said so. So right. thanks a lot. All right. Yeah. So from, I'll make a motion then. To approve the application for charity wine license for Friends of Form Forbes of Library at 20 West Street on September 27th. A second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Kate. Take care. Uh, let's see. Discussion. Are you the Elm Street and LLC citizen complaints? Can I? Uh, are you here for number 16? Number 16. Can we yeah. well, let's go, go to 16? Let's do that, yeah. We'll go take you next. Thanks. Okay. So, application for short term liquor license, Strand Theater, Inc., DBA Strand Theater, Saturday, April 13, 2019, 7 10 p.m., Northampton Center for the Arts, 33 Market Street, Wine and Cheese, Hungary. Can you state your name for the record? Susanna Ackbar. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Okay. Congratulations on the theater, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Is this a first? It's the first, yeah. We just launched a couple of weeks ago, and this will be our first fundraising event. Okay. So you said you have tips. Everybody's in place for uh, tip certified. Yep, tip okay. certified Great. bartender is lined up. Um, we have our insurance in. Um, I think I was going to ask. I, um, this is my first time, so I, I, I'm doing just about everything I can possibly do wrong. But <laughs> is it possible to retroactively request a fee waiver or? Do I just, because we are a nonprofit, we are a 501c3 corporation. Yeah, I didn't know if we would qualify. I just. 501 Is it a 501c3? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
it's just for the city entities. That's it, yeah. City yeah. only. Yeah, we don't have a fee waiver system for nonprofits. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we did. There's a fee waiver for, um, like, the scene since you've sat through the whole meeting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just heard the word over and over again. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, no, for the um, Senior Center and Forbes Library because they're under the umbrella of city entities. Oh, gotcha. Okay. There was a precedent set a million years ago for that. So. Gotcha. Okay, but I asked. But it was a good question. Yeah, thanks. I'm good. Uh, I have no questions. It looks like you have a great venue for it, and I hope you have a great turnout. Thank you. Um, so I will make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for Strident Theater. Details outlined on the agenda item number 16. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. So back to 15, the All Street and L. Do you want me to read it out loud for the record? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Citizen complaint. Catherine Weinstein, 159 Elm Street, is the direct abutting neighbor of the Elm Street Inn, 153 Elm Street. Ms. Weinstein called to register a complaint regarding an issue she's having with the Airbnb, the Elm Street Inn. Ms. Weinstein has a long driveway with a house set back off Elm Street. Lining her driveway is a stone wall that Ms. Weinstein has spent a lot of money to rebuild. She has also planted a lot of flowers and bushes. Ms. Weinstein has two children, one with a disability. She stated that Airbnb guests mistakenly drive down her driveway at all hours of the day and night, multiple times a week, and sometimes very fast. These guests realize they're at the wrong house, try to turn around, and end up hitting the stone wall, driving over her flowers and plants, and causing damage to her property. Just recently, a car almost hit her daughter, who was walking her dog. Ms. Weinstein believes that a sign on the Elm Street Inn property identifying the correct driveway would be a simple fix and would alleviate these issues. Ms. Weinstein has tried to contact the owner, Catherine Verdict, for three years with no avail. So this is the inn that we have asked to come yes. before us because they both advertise they both have a website advertising an innkeeper's mm -hmm. facility as well as Airbnb. And I signed the certified letter March 11th requiring their attendance at today's meeting. And there was no response. There was no response. To that. There, uh, someone did sign for the certified receipt, but um, there was no response. No. So their current violation is that they have a website saying that they're an in. Mm -hmm. And if they did not have that website saying that they're an in, they would they could operate as an Airbnb and then that would fall under the purview of other um, mm -hmm. other Airbnb so under no city purview whatsoever unless one is created right so there's no license to take there's no license to take it wasn't renewed right because it wasn't renewed she's not communicating with us no. however she is violating the rules of keeping it in, in the city of Northampton by advertising it on, it, on its own website. Mm -hmm. So what authority do we have? There's no license to take. Um, <coughs> a cease and desist. By the police, right? By, yeah. it would probably come from Allen. Okay. Um, and and the Board of Health also hasn't received renewal paperwork and they have more teeth than we do. They yep. can send an inspector out there. Right. Um, How, did um, the citizen say when she had most recently spoken with Catherine? Does she, Catherine live on premises? She anymore? does not live on the premise. She met her in the beginning when they moved there three years ago and she said she seemed really nice and she <coughs> if there's any, ever any problems, keep in touch and since then, she has not really seen her, or and she, there's no way of contacting her except for through her website, and she's never received anything back, no correspondence whatsoever. So, I well, I think um, you don't have the minutes from last time. What we said, if that didn't show up, <coughs> um, we said we would issue that cease and desist. I believe. Yeah. <coughs> So the city solicitor pr proposed two options. The, um, the first is Attorney Seawall can send a letter on behalf of the commission and 
letting them know that they don't have a license and they must cease and desist the operation. The second option is the commission can send a letter inviting them, which she chose to do. Um, so I guess the next option is a cease and desist letter. And also, I'm Alan comes to the office every Thursday morning, so I will see him tomorrow and I can ask him. And we can also just go ahead and get the board out and volunteer. Or? Um, you can request it. I don't. I mean, they'll do what they'll do. Yeah. I mean, they're not our agents, so right. they they don't have to listen. But um. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would just do exactly that and have Alan handle it from here. Can't let any fines, can we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm good with the so answer. Do we we're gonna make a motion to yeah. have Alan uh, send a cease and desist letter? Okay. Um, regarding um, 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 <coughs> regarding item 15, I would make a motion to have Attorney City Solicitor Seawald send a cease and desist notice to the Elm Street Inn LLC for operating a uh, an in without an in keeper's license. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Seventeen. Request to review and set violation hearings. Hearing dates. Um, Eighty four Maple Inc. DBA Doyle's Package Store. Eighty four Maple Street, Florence. Um, June thirteenth, two thousand. Bid Asal DBA Mabu Cafe, Cafe, 44th Street, um, Northampton, and Liquid Edge Amp DBA Viva Fresh Pasta, 249 Main Street, Northampton. So, do we want to try and handle all these in, in one day? Yeah, that, so we, we have to pay the um, court reporter once. once. Yeah. So do we want to do this for the next meeting? So. Or are you looking to set a date to do these separately? Well, based on the sergeant's um, availability and mine and Helen's, because I asked her because she wasn't going to be here, um, the only date in between would be Monday, April 22nd for a special meeting. Um, but then Wednesday, May 1st, which is our ne our regular scheduled meeting, the sergeant isn't on that day. So we would have to, so if we were to go with our the monthly meeting, we'd have to move it to either Thursday the 2nd or Friday the 3rd. Should we move it to the second? Or do we want to just handle that on the 22nd? Because that's when they're all available on April 22nd. That's when the sergeant. Talon and the sergeant and myself can do it on the 22nd at 4. I can too. Or we can just move our regular meeting. Yeah, because if we, if we have the special meeting, then we would still have to move our regular May meeting. I mean, we can do that. Oh no, we wouldn't have to in that case. No. If we had it on the 22nd, we wouldn't have to move the main meeting. Well. Because the only reason we would have to move it is because the sergeant wouldn't be available. Right. <clears throat> but um, do you think that we can do these three plus our meeting? Um, do you have any idea what the agenda is starting to shape up like uh, already? I mean, I. No, I have two items for it already, but... You know what I mean? I mean meet once and be done. Yeah, my if preference would be to meet once and be done. If Especially if, if Bruce and Cam is, is able to move forward and needs a special meeting, like, since we committed to that at some point. I would, it would be my preference to consolidate and move the meeting to, to the, the second. second. And then have the violation hearings that day too. Yep. Are you okay with that? Okay. And at 
three. Okay. Um, only because that's it, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Can I make a motion that we set these? Um, sure. And move uh, the meeting. We don't need to make a motion. I don't think we that. do. I think that's more administrative. Yeah, okay. okay. Item 18, update on seasonal liquor license renewals. Um, Sing Tan Wang, Inc. DBA Asian Taste. Yes, so you guys got that email that I at BCC'd you on that email to Asian Taste um, saying that they couldn't operate because they don't have an inspection. Um, and then the next day, they, got, they passed their inspection. I don't know how that happened because Louie told me that they needed an elect electrician in there, so, but they passed, so okay. they're all set. Okay. All right. So, clerk's update, item 19. Um, yes, so at our December meeting, when we, uh, you actually, I don't think you were here for the renewals, but, um, you had said that you want to see Sakura back in six months. Right. Um, so when I first put this on the agenda, my math I think was a little wrong. I was thinking, oh, they're going to need to come back in May, um, but really they're going to they, you're going to probably want them back in June. So okay, and that's the that's the uh, license that's on the market, right? That's yes, that's the pocket license. Um, so I. send a letter requesting their attendance for a June meeting. Okay. Okay. And item 20 we have to table because Helen's not here for the approval notes, correct? We have to push that to the next. We make a quorum. Yeah. Oh, were we both right. we were yeah. both here last time. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I thought the same thing though. Yeah. yeah. I would do it by All right. Did you read the minutes? I do not. All right, then I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for March 16, 2019. I will second in all in favor. Aye. Aye. Uh, any new business? No. So, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye.